welcome today is february 21st 2019 and i'm here to do our daily check-in so let's begin Okay, I am feeling, let's do the witch's tarot. <laughs> okay. Okay, and clarifiers. Filling the uh, vice versa. Okay, so bottom of the deck, <laughs> we have karma. And it is clarified with the six of wands. So what I'm getting here is that whatever karmic situation that you or your divine counterpart is going through at this time, there is going to be victory over it. So that is really good, guys. And underneath here, I do see the Three of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles uh, in reverse. And so what I'm getting is that, you know, as the Divine Masculine, you know, comes forward uh, towards their Divine Counterpart, I feel like at this time, the Divine Feminines are, are just like really focused on themselves, you know, focused on their stability uh, until that uh, the Divine Masculine could you know come towards a divine feminine and so that's what i'm getting so far so let's go ahead and tap into today's energy okay first we have nine of pentacles and then we have king of wands Next, we have the Fool. And then here we have Six of Pentacles. So what I'm getting here is that, you know, the Divine Feminines, um, you know, are really defending themselves. You know, they, uh, they put their guard up. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, they, um, you know, are just sticking up for, like, you know, their position and, um, you know, they see that the Divine Masculine is coming in, okay, as the King of Wands. And so, you know, with that energy, I'm just feeling like the Divine Masculines are really, you know, taking action towards the Divine Feminine. But at the same time, it's like they are just sitting there. 
I don't know how to say this. It's like, you know, he feels like, you know, he comes off kind of charming and, um, you know, very passionate, you know, towards the Divine Feminine. But the Divine Feminines, I feel like they're a little bit on guard, okay? That's, that's the feeling I'm getting. But, you know, I do see the Fool, okay? And so with this Fool, I do see that there is going to be a new beginning. And, you know, with this new beginning, I see here the Six of Pentacles. And this time, I feel like, you know, Divine Masculines is ready uh, to give that balance uh, towards the connection. And I've been seeing the Six of Pentacles a lot uh, from yesterday's reading. And so I do see that, you know, it's carried on with today's energy. All right, so let's clarify. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so with the Nine of Wands, it is clarified here with the hangman, okay? So what I'm getting from this is that, you know, Divine Feminine is, is being defensive and Divine Masculines is, is just hanging out, okay? They're trying to figure out how to approach the Divine Feminine and, and I feel like they're getting assistance, you know, from other people as to like how to like really go about doing this. And another like feeling that I'm getting is that there's like, you know, other outside circumstances, you know, uh, that is kind of like an obstacle towards the decision making for the Divine Masculine. And that's why I feel like, you know, Divine Feminines, you know, are a little guarded at this time about, you know, if the Divine Masculine comes back, you know, towards them. I feel that, you know, the Divine Masculine has to find the proper words or the proper approach in doing so because the Divine Feminines uh, are really heavily guarded at this time, okay? Now, with the King of Wands, okay, it is clarified with the Five of Pentacles. And in this depiction, I see that the Divine Masculine is really upset and you know really sad about the situation about like you know about being left out in the cold I feel like they have left themselves out uh, in this position but I do see that you know they're they're ready to get out of this five of Pentacles energy and not only that the feeling that I'm getting from this is that they're really working about like their physical life too I feel that they're more focused on their 3D life and the decisions that they made led them to, you know, this feeling that, that they're having at this time. They are not happy, guys. And I see that, you know, they're, they're wanting to move forward out of this energy with the King of Wands um, so that they can take action uh, into getting out of this. And so, and I, I see that they're taking... Uh, a pause, okay, before approaching the Divine Feminines, they want to take action because they know that they have put themselves in that situation. And so um, that's why here we have here the Fool, okay, and it's clarified here with the Eight of Pentacles. So what I'm getting is that, you know, with this new beginning, there is uh, the Divine Masculine is really working at the situation and I see that you know they're currently working you know on their one pentacle and they have like you know other pentacles that you know they know that they need to work on and so um, yeah in reverse here I see that all of the pentacles okay have been made he's been working on it okay but in this depiction okay we have a little boy, you know, uh, watching this Divine Masculine, and there's seven pentacles that is translucent, okay? But there's one pentacle that is really solid, and that's the one that, you know, that Divine Masculine is currently working on, okay? So that's what I'm feeling. I feel like the Divine Masculine is currently focused on that one pentacle. And I feel that it is, you know, that pentacle for a start in the physical with their Divine counterpart. 
and um, you know here I also see with the six of pentacles all right we have here the eight of cups and so what I'm getting is that Divine Masculines is currently working on, you know, giving an equal balance between, like, you know, his family, his Divine Feminine, um, and, you know, they are really, they want to come back, okay, to Divine Feminine. And I want to show you something here. This Divine Masculine, okay, is, is feeling really good. He's, uh, you know... Uh, sharing, you know, his pentacles with his children. And, you know, that's a beautiful thing. So what I'm getting is that, you know, maybe your divine other is more focused on their family and their children. And so, um, but the other energy that I'm feeling, even though we do not see, you know, the divine feminine in this depiction, I feel that, you know, divine masculine knows that, you know, it is time to, you know, give that balance towards their Divine Feminine also. And the reason why I say that is because in this depiction with the Eight of Cups, okay, there is like a little boy, you know, that is staring at those cups. And you see that shooting star that is going on, you know, in the sky. Your Divine Masculine, okay, is wishing on as you know a star okay they are they they want to turn around and go back towards their divine feminine and you know this is a youthful innocent energy is what i'm getting you know because in the reverse we see a uh, like a older uh, male okay it looks like a hermit that is walking away from these cups okay in search of you know the 10 of cups but in this depiction, it is a young boy, okay? I don't know if you can see it. It's a young boy, and they are staring. They came back to those Eight of Cups, and they're wishing for their divine counterpart, guys. So, <sighs> I just see that the divine masculines understand and realize what situations that they put themselves through. And, you know after this realization they're really wanting to have this new beginning okay and really work on this physical union with their divine counterpart you know they're the ones that probably walked away from the situation but they realize and understand that they have to provide balance okay towards the connection not only to what they thought you know that they had to give into but also towards their divine counterpart because you know, that Divine Masculine is returning in their innocence, okay? Wishing, you know, for the Divine uh, Feminine, okay? All right, so. <laughs> Here we have Justice. And next we have the Wheel of the Year. And then we have Six of Swords. So what I'm getting is that the Divine Feminines are going to be receiving justice in a situation, you know, uh, and I feel that, you know, Divine Masculines are going to be coming in making that offer. In the center of this reading, we have the Wheel of the Year. So what I'm getting is that if there was any karmic situations, hence the overall energy for this reading, which is karma, okay, that is being removed, guys. That is in the heart of this reading. And so it is now for this wheel to turn, to get rid of all these karmic situations. I feel like, you know, Divine Masculines are at the end of that cycle where they've come to that realization, you know, in knowing that, you know, they were not, you know, giving their Divine Feminine, you know, the justice or the balance they so deserve. And, and they're coming in and making it right. Because here I see the Six of Swords. So they're leaving whatever that was in the past behind and moving towards something that is more calmer and peaceful. Okay. Mm. Okay. So... With justice, all right, it is clarified here with the Ten of Cups. And I don't know if, oh gosh, guys, I need a better camera. 
<clears throat> I don't know if you can see this here. <laughs> I know, right? I don't know that. Anyway, this card is so beautiful, guys. It is a statue, okay, of this divine feminine, and I feel like it's Venus, okay, that is surrounded by three dragons or serpent heads. Um, that is in this cup and it reminds me of the ace of cups so the ace of cups is in the ethers it's in the heavenly realm okay and i feel like that's the divine feminine and you know uh underneath that is a lotus okay and the, the symbology with the lotus is that the lotus is so beautiful and it smells so beautiful and you know but the lotus you know is made out of something that is uh you know kind of disgusting you know like dirt and mud and you know um the lake is a little grimy you know but as as that flower grows you know it, it comes up and something beautiful you know grows from from all of that um murkiness and so what i'm getting is that you know this is the divine feminine you know that is embodying this energy so here you know with the ten of cups it is so beautiful guys i feel like you know with this justice card with this divine feminine who is sitting on her throne okay and she has like you know the scales okay that that wants balance to the situation i feel like you know she will be getting that she'll be getting her ten of cups you know because here all right in the reverse this is also a beautiful depiction we have here the divine masculine and feminine together sitting under that rainbow okay and and you know they've collected all of their cups okay they are finally together guys so you know with this depiction of the justice i feel like the divine feminines up to this point has been their own ten of cups okay because the divine masculines was you know entertaining these karmic situations not really giving in to the divine feminine that full ten of cups but if you can see here it was clarified with the six of pentacles with the balance right there is the eight of cups okay and they realize that you know they had it all along and now they're looking, they're wishing for, for the two additional cups that the Divine Feminine carries, okay? Alright. So with the Wheel of the Year, okay, it is clarified here with the Page of Pentacles. So what I'm getting with this is that the Divine Masculine is on this journey, okay? What I feel is that whatever abundance that they've had okay they have been giving it to the karmics and that's what i'm feeling they've been you know spreading themselves then you know um and not really giving so much towards their divine feminine but i feel like that's the end because the karmics have have like like um you know kind of like depleted them of their energy it feels like you know if they were the provider if they were the ones um you know that was like you know passing handouts to everyone and doing everything and you know and, and because of this karmic situation if they were tied in you know with them i just feel like you know it's it's because of financial obligation and that's what i'm feeling but, you know, with this Page of Pentacles energy, I see that they are looking off into the horizons, okay? They are looking off into the distance, okay, carrying that, that one pentacle. Um, and they are ready to give that offer to their Divine Feminine, okay? They're finally ready to give an offer because I see that, you know, with this karmic uh, wheel that, that is turning, all, all of those karmics, okay, is no more all right and it's time for the divine feminines and i see that because with the six of swords okay the divine masculines are coming in you know towards their divine counterpart um you know and they're they're leaving those karmics behind where it was a rocky situation they weren't emotionally fulfilled with that okay guys and they're finally going towards their divine feminine and guess what 
we have here the Knight of Swords. And so what I'm getting with this depiction is that they are in the clouds, guys. They are wanting to, you know, come towards the Divine Feminine, you know, either through the 5D and communicate, you know, about like, you know, what they want, um, you know, what they want to express, you know, how they feel, everything. I feel like they're ready to charge in and let their divine counterpart know. So, you know, whereas this guy looks like, you know, he's steadily like, you know, paddling his little boat. He's like, oh no, you're going a little too slow. Let, let's speed this uh, thing up a little bit more so we can communicate to the divine feminines about how they truly feel. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so here we have the Ace of Cups. And then we have here the Knight of Wands. Okay, guys. <laughs> so what I'm getting is that your Divine Masculine is ready to offer this Ace of Cups. What I'm feeling is that, you know, with this karmic, you know, situation that they were involved in, you know, they realize it is time to give, you know, their their new beginning, okay, of love towards their Divine Feminine. I feel like it is time. And they were coming in as the Knight of Wands. And so, um, let me go ahead and clarify what this Knight of Wands is and this Ace of Cups. Okay. So, with the Ace of Cups, okay, it is clarified here with the Lovers. And so, what I'm getting here is that the Divine Couple, okay, it seems like whenever you guys are going to be coming together, I feel like it's going to happen at uh, sunset or at dark, you know, some, sometime in the dark. Um, and, and I see that, you know, this is uh, guided, you know, from the Divine, you know. Um, and I see that you guys are, are equally balanced at this time. I see here a burning tree and also a tree that is, you know, living. And so, like, there's a lot of, like, balance, you know, energies, you know, from what, I, what I'm getting with this lover's card. And so, that's what I'm feeling. They will finally be balanced, you know, to this new beginning in love, okay? It's finally going to happen, guys, all right? And then here with the Knight of Wands... It is clarified here with the Magician, okay? So what I'm getting is that, again, this is going to happen like, okay, so your Divine Masculine, you know, uh, is going to, you know, make their effort uh, in coming back, you know, towards you. And I feel like, you know, this might be after work. It could be like, you know, when the sun goes down, you know, they're, they're like thinking about how to manifest, you know, uh, this new beginning with you. And, um, and I see that, you know, they might come in, you know, like, <laughs> you know, kind of like dashing and, you know, you really don't know like what they're really up to. But I feel like, you know, um, they're being really divinely guided in this situation, okay guys? about how to move forward with this connection and I see that they will manifest this okay they're doing whatever it takes to to come back and you know um, take charge and you know coming back towards their divine counterpart and that's what I'm feeling okay so crowning this reading we have here the knight of pentacles uh, so you know this is what I'm getting. The divine masculines, okay, are, are realizing that they uh, are embodying this king of wands energy. I don't feel like they're coming at you as the king of wands. I feel like it's taking this king of wands energy for them to get out of this five of pentacles energy that, you know, they put themselves in, right? And then, you know, with the fool, okay, they are working uh, on this new beginning with their Divine Feminine. And if you can see, okay, they are working on that one pentacle, okay? That is the pentacle that they want to have their new beginning with their Divine Counterpart. And what I'm getting is that after they have worked on that pentacle, guess what? Your Divine Masculine is coming in 
with that pentacle on his horse, okay? So, what I'm getting is that your Divine Masculine will come in ready this time. It is going to be a solid, stable offer. It might take him or her a little bit of time to get there, but the offer is stable, and I do see that they are coming in correct, okay? Because they were trying to manifest this, you know, like coming in and out, you know, wanting to rush in, you know, but they realize that they really have to work on the situation with their Divine Feminine because Divine Feminines, okay, the first card that pops up is the Knight of Wands. They're on guard, okay, they have been waiting for a long time, yes, but, you know, they want to know, uh, does their Divine Counterpart, are they coming in correct this time? They have no idea. And so that's why I feel like, you know, the Divine Masculines are gaining, you know, insight, okay, about how to approach the Divine Feminines, all right? So, what is uh, the clarifier? Huh? We have here the higher font, guys. What did I say? They are coming in with their stability. They're coming in correct. And they're coming in with a higher level of commitment, guys, okay? I feel like, you know, Divine Masculines know about, you know, whatever actions that they've taken in the past, and they're making their wrongs right this time, but this time they know that this connection is so much more than they've ever had with any karmic partner, any soulmate, or any, any other person that they've been in with, and they know that they have to make it right this time because this is their destiny. This is in the center of the reading. They they know they have to get rid of karmic situations in order to move forward and give this offer to the Divine Feminine. That is why they're coming in as the page. But they want to be so much more. That's why I feel like, you know, with this page energy, even though they want to come in in the physical and give you some sort of offering, they want to charge in. They want to communicate. They want to rush in, like as the uh, Knight of Wands, you know, and they want to go a, a little bit faster but in all reality okay they know that they have to come in as the Knight of Pentacles because they know how much their divine counterpart means to them and they know they have to make it right okay so guys huh. and then the reverse here I see a little baby okay holding an apple or a key the, the baby's holding the key that is beautiful, guys. You know, I feel like, you know, the children, you know, hold the key, you know, to our hearts. And not only that, you know, this is like, you know, the key to something new, you know. Um, but, you know, today it came out uh, as the higher font and, and front face. So, they are coming in with that solid commitment, guys, okay? All right. So, what does uh, the angels want to say to us today? And, you know, that's why, okay, let me go back. We have here karma, okay? I feel like karma uh, issues, okay, will be resolved, all right? Your Divine Masculine understands and know what it takes to be victorious over this karmic situation. All right, all right. So, let's get into the angel messages and see what they have to say to us today. a lot because <laughs> a lot of these cards want to come out. No need to worry, okay? Guys, just work on you. There is no need to worry. I feel like the divine, okay, is showing, you know, your divine counterpart what's up, okay? Like, they know what they need to do, and, you know, they will make that change. They know they have to get rid of karmic situations before they can move forward. And this might not mean that they are proactive in their karmic situations. It means that they know that they have to get 
get rid of some things or tie up some loose ends, you know, um, before they can embark on this this real physical union with their divine counterparts. So no need to worry, guys. It's 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 in progress. All right. I'm gonna take this one. Yes, the situation will improve. So whatever the situation is, guys, I feel like it will improve. So no need to worry, okay? All right. So let me pull uh, some cards to see what we need to surrender to for today. Okay, well, I'll take whatever comes out. <laughs> All right. First, we have surrender to miracles. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. Guys, that is so beautiful. I love it. Surrender to miracles, okay? And I feel like, you know, this is going to happen. This is going to manifest, okay? So, you know, um, I truly do feel like, you know, Divine Masculines understand, like, which position that they are in. They know that they have to get rid of, like, any kind of karmic ties or anything um, that was preventing them, you know, to come into, you know, real union with their Divine counterpart. And you know what? They, they were looking at this eight of cups they want to come back guys okay they they know how they truly feel okay because the divine feminine always gives them that balance okay they feel balanced with their divine feminine and they know who their their empress is okay and that's what i'm feeling and divine feminines were were always you know that one okay to rise up you know, from any kind of difficulties that they've ever had. And that's what they're looking for. They're looking for that one person that, that you know, gives them that realization, that helps them, that truly loves them. And, you know, and I see that, you know, with this Ace of Cups, they are choosing you guys. Okay, we have here the Lover's card paired with the Ace of Cups with this new beginning. I do see that. And, you know, they want to manifest this as fast as they can, but they know that... You know, they can't go faster than what they can and and um, they really want to make this offer right. That's why they're coming in as the Knight of Pentacles. They have been working on their situation, physical life, so that they can come forward and give you this commitment, okay? That is so beautiful. <laughs> Next, we have Surrender Your Fear of Change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or relationship, or if you are fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. Guys, this is so beautiful. I love this deck. Surrender your fear of change. Do not fear. Change is amazing. One of my quotes is, um change in all things is sweet and it's uh it's a quote by um socrates i believe i forget but um i love i love change embrace change guys okay because like if you have like the same thing over and over that's so boring and stagnant but when you surrender to change it's so exciting because you don't know like what's around the corner and it's and you know it's something that is so beautiful like this picture here do you see that that lady that is on that horse you know looking into the sunset that is so beautiful i wish i could ride a horse like that bareback you know <laughs> Riding on a horse. Giddy up, pony. <laughs> Alright. So, 
Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Oh, another good one. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. Guys, I love this. Surrender to, to anything that you thought of yourself like in the past. That was the old you. This is the new you, okay? So this is like, what, 2019? Let's get the ball rolling, guys, okay? Let, let's, let's be in our full power and do us, okay? So surrender outdated beliefs about yourself, okay? And finally, surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you have built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. Guys, I love this because it's meditation. Surrender stress. Don't be stressed out. Stress, stress just brings you down. That is, that is a mental thought. You can get out of that really easily if you just take a deep breath or meditate and just let it go and be like, huh, whatever, you know. I'm having a great day and just feel fabulous, okay? <laughs> all right, so I really hope you enjoyed today's reading. Um, thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and, describe, um, and subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And today, okay, it is about karma and dealing with karmic situations. And I feel that the Divine Masculine is going to be victorious in overcoming this karmic cycle, okay? I feel like they've come to that realization and they know now like what it truly takes to come towards their Divine Feminine in the physical, okay guys? No more mental action. This is physical. They are thinking about their divine other with cup energies, okay? They know who fills their cup. And I see that they want to offer this Ace of Cups, okay? And choose this, this divine connection. And so that is so beautiful, guys. I'm really loving today's uh, reading, so... If you would like to book a private reading, you can also visit me on my website. It is www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And, um, you know, if you would like, you can also follow me on Instagram. And you can find me there as Scorpio Moon Intuition. Again, I hope you all have a fabulous day. And I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Bye-bye.